Welcome to Weekly Action Central, news and notes from around the WAC for September 12th. I'm Kendra Sheehan. We'll start with women's soccer. Utah Valley is receiving votes in the United Soccer Coaches Poll. The Wolverines defeated Utah for the first time in school history on Sunday night. This is UVU's second win over a Power 4 school this season. Utah Tech has started the season with a record of 3-1-2. The Trailblazers won at Northern Arizona 2-1, thanks in part to Latea Brost's free kick in the 83rd minute. This was also our WAC Top Play of the Week. UT travels to Idaho as they take on Boise State on Thursday night on the Mountain West Network before heading north to face Idaho on Sunday afternoon on ESPN+. The Trailblazers will need to be road warriors in the near future as their next home match isn't until October 3rd. In volleyball, UT Arlington continues to stay red hot as the Mavericks are 6-0 and the only unbeaten team in the WAC. Utah Valley has also gotten off to a fast start. The Wolverines are 5-1 and, and coming off two big wins over Southern Miss and Boise State during an invitational in Montana. Sam Atoa is in his 26th season as head coach in Orem and likes how his team is playing with poise and patience. My goal for this week um, is for them to just keep elevating their game. Just continue to build on those things that we practice every single day, um, perfecting those, the simplicity of the game. Utah Valley now heads to Georgia for the Classic City Clash. They will play Jacksonville on Friday afternoon, followed by Boston College on Saturday morning and Georgia on Saturday evening. The Bulldogs are receiving votes in the AVCA poll. This match will be live on SEC Network Plus. In men's soccer, Seattle U has climbed to the ninth spot in the United Soccer Coaches National Rankings. They did lose their first match of the year to Washington on Monday, a score of 2-1. to one. The Red Hawks will be back home at Championship Field on Thursday night hosting Gonzaga. That is a 7 p.m. Pacific time start and will be live on ESPN+. Grand Canyon is receiving votes in the coaches poll and are ranked number 16 in the top drawer soccer rankings. Bright Nuternucci leads the WAF with five goals on the season. That is also number five in the nation. GCU will be at Santa Clara on Thursday night. That is a 7.30 Phoenix time start on ESPN+. The Lopes will then be at home on Sunday against Cal State Fullerton at 7 p.m. Arizona time on E+. For Weekly Action Central, I'm Kendra Sheehan.